All right, what I'm gonna do is connect my wires and my ground so I can check my outlets. So this is shore power coming out, which will be the 12, uh, 120 volt box here. So let's go down this side and check our outlets. Okay, now I'm gonna test my circuit to make sure it's good. We got this, yep, we got tone. So bottom is shore power. I'm going to be putting a three-quarter inch um, spacer here because there's so many wires in that small box. It's a short box. And then I'll do the same on the other side. So short power is on bottom. Got a tone. Got a tone. So we're good. I'll check uh, this in a minute, but I want to go back here and check this one. Okay, let's check this one for tone. Remember, shore power's on bottom. There we go. Okay, we got tone. So that means this side of the carburetor trailer has got uh, a good circuit on the shore power. Next, I'll check the uh, inverter. Let's make sure that's got a good circuit all the way through. All right, and after I double check a circuit, I mark it with this green tag. That shows me that it's a good circuit. That way I don't have to remember which ones I've checked. All right, lots more to check. Here's a shore power in. This is a inverter out. No telling what this one is. Oh, that's my um, refrigerator. So I check them all. Okay, finally got all the wiring roughed in as you can see it's coming around here and then we've got all this coming down which will come into a seven gang switch plus a usb and uh and um battery size voltage i should say that will go right here by the door and then I'm coming through here. Now these, I'm going to have to make a three eight quarter inch spacer on this one and that one over there so they match. Because the boxes are narrow, short, not uh, shallow boxes, not deep boxes. So I have to, there's so many wires in there that I'm going to have to bump these out. But that's okay. Then we're coming on down, coming on down. Coming back around, and then these coming down here, where the uh, wardrobe is, and the countertop and sink and stove and stuff are right there, will come into a four switch, again with voltage and USBs. That'll go right here. That'll be for water pump, the light in the closet. Um, some mood lighting over here and something else. I'll have to go back and look. I'm getting ready to take this panel out so I can get uh, my backup camera in. If that's in, and I've got to put a spotlight back there also. So I've got my spotlight and my then my camera. Here's my spotlight right here. Then the camera will be come up and around and go back up to there to the uh, tone of the trailer and then it will be plugged into the truck when I'm hooked up. So more and more getting done. All the hard parts finally done. 
And of course, this will all be covered with a half inch and three quarter inch standoff and a quarter inch up there to cover it. Getting ready to start filling all this with Bondo because this is the back of the cabinets. And as you can see, just double checking my three major points. These points, once they're set, then I can get exact measurements in between to make sure everything's going correctly. And again, you can see basically how this side is going to be set up. Murphy bed, storage underneath it. Actually, it'll have a Murphy table on the back side of this, plus a drop-down stand to hold the bed up. Then, full color printer, laminator, cutter, heat press for t-shirts, and regular desktop and rotary cutter, plus a pull-out trash can, diesel heater, and room for storage and shelves and drawers so we're gonna have plenty plenty of room right, here's some of the take off here that's the seven gang and this is the four gang closet light mood lighting dual USB outlet yeah I've got a dual USB outlet by the bed here's my 12 volt coming in which I've got to get up to date and of course you've seen this what's gonna just my waterproof material is gonna go over there. This will be the uh, shower here, and then over here will be the toilet area, which you can see right here in this view. I'm gonna bring all these up to date and do a video on them. I decided to make this a shore power and inverter also. So that's no big deal coming from here up to there. So that's it. So right now I'm getting ready to work on the walls. Once I get the walls painted, then I'll start working on the ceiling. Well, I still got to do, again, the backup camera and get the uh, rear spotlight wired in. All right. Hang with me. The fun part's getting ready to start now. Oh, and... There's my uh, water pump, and this goes to my refrigerator for when I'm on shore power. So I've got a lot of wires still to go, but that uh, four gang will be right about here, right about here, because here, here's my wall, so I'll actually be on this wall. And then this is the outdoor kit closet that will be accessible with the door down. The bed will be here, the bed will come all the way over to here, here's the other wall right here, it's a two inch wall, inch and a half with quarter inch on both sides, for weight mainly, it's not structural. Then the other wall, which is right here, and in between here and there will be my Murphy table, my Murphy print table, it won't be a work table, the work table will be underneath the... Uh, the bed as I'll show you all right I'm done for the day had to install a, an antique sink and pedestal today I've got another one to do maybe tomorrow I'm not sure yet I want to get in here and start bondoing this stuff up getting it ground down and get it painted it'll be a lot lighter in here all right talk to you later